Welcome to this Nationwide tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll take you through downloading, installing, joining a server, and then logging into your admin account using Ventrilo. The first thing I'd like you to do is open up your browser, head over to your favorite search engine, such as google.com, and search for Ventrilo. Once we've found ventrilo.com, we want to head over to the download section. And here we'll be greeted with a list of client programs and server programs. We want to focus on getting a client program that's right for us. So we can see here we have 32-bit, 64-bit, and versions for older versions of Windows, and even a Mac version. So how do we find out whether we're on 32 or 64-bit? Well, that's pretty simple. What we need to do is we need to go to Start by clicking the Start Orb with the Windows logo, right-clicking on Computer, going to Properties. When we're in Properties, we should be able to see Operating System, 32-bit Operating System. This means that we're on a 32-bit operating system. If you're on a 64-bit operating system, it will be noted there. Now, if you're on a 64-bit operating system, you can still download the 32-bit version, but just keep in mind that it's always better to download the bit version for you. So if you're on 64-bit, grab the 64. If you're on 32-bit, grab the 32. In my case, I'm on 32-bit, so I'm going to download that. Scroll to the bottom, click I agree, and the download should start. Now that I have Ventrilo Installer downloaded, I'm going to click on the installer, and the installer should start. If you're prompted with a user account control warning, just go ahead and click yes. This is the Ventrilo Client Installation Wizard. In here, we'll go through installing Ventrilo onto your PC. So go ahead and click Next. I accept the license agreement. Next. Here we can put in some information about ourselves or just leave it blank. I'm going to leave it to anyone who uses this computer. Hit Next. Here we can change the destination folder of where Ventrilo is installed into. I'm going to leave this in our program files so there's no confusion. So click Next. And click Next again and the Ventrilo installation will start. Now Ventrilo is installed, we can just go ahead and click Finish and start getting the client fired up. So now we have Ventrilo installed and we're ready to start it for the first time. I'm going to look on my desktop and I can see a Ventrilo icon. I'm going to double click on it and this pop-up will appear. It will ask you if you want to read through an online tutorial. If you want, you can click Yes and it'll give you a written tutorial, but for the sake of this video tutorial, I'm going to hit No. The Ventrilo client will appear. I'm just going to resize it so we can see better what I'm doing. Now the first thing we want to do when we launch Ventrilo is set up a new username. So the thing you should know about a username is that each username you create controls all other details of the program. Think of each username as a profile, and each profile can have its own details. What this means is that each username will have its own list of servers, its own list of bindings, and all information in the setup button will be unique to each user. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hit the arrow next to username and create a new user. I want to click the new button and name our user. This is your nickname, which everyone in the Ventrilo will see. So I'm going to go ahead and type tutorial. The phonetic is a way to play back your name using text-to-speech. So this is useful for people who use text-to-speech who maybe want to see how your name is pronounced. So I'm just going to type tutorial. In the description, we can add a description to our username. This is only displayed on your side and not to anyone else. So for this one, I'm going to add, this is a tutorial account. You can leave this blank if you don't want to fill it in. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK, and that's it for our username. It's all set up. As you can see up here, it displays our username, trailed by our description. And the description, like I said, is only displayed on your side and won't be displayed inside the server. This is just an easy way to keep track of which user is which. So now we need to add a new server to connect to. So in the server button, click the arrow and click new. Here we need to name the server something. So in this case, we're going to be connecting to the Nation Voice Support Ventrilo. So I'm going to name it Nation Voice Support Ventrilo. And hit OK. In the hostname or IP, I'm going to fill in the information that was given to me by Nation Voice. So in my case, support.nationvoice.com. The port number is left the same as specified by Nation Voice. Keep in mind, if you've just ordered a Nation Voice server, the information will be different, so look out for that. In the password, I know there's no password for this server, so I'm going to leave it blank. Down here at the bottom, we have some other options, such as accepting page requests, accepting user-to-user -user communication, accepting private chat requests, allow others to record my conversation, and show login name in remote status. If you uncheck something like accept private chat requests, it just means that people won't be able to PM you. Click OK. And a message should appear saying, server is available, press connect. This means that everything is done right and we can connect to the server. So go ahead and hit the connect button. Now that we're in the Ventrilo, I'm going to quickly take you through how to log in as a super admin. So what we need to do first is we need to right click on the lobby, 
go to Server Admin and click Login. The administration password should be provided to you by NationWise and you can use this to log in to start creating user accounts, editing channels, and giving privileges. So this has been a quick tutorial on Ventrilo. I hope you enjoyed it and thank you for watching.